हेलो एवरीवन सो आई होप यू आर हैविंग ए ग्रेट इंडिपेंडेंस डे और इंडिपेंडेंस मंथ बट इफ आई टेल यू वन क्वेश्चन दैट है व्हाई डू यू वांट टू सी आवर इंडिया आवर ग्रेट इंडिया व्हेन वी गोना सेलिब्रेट आवर एटीथ इंडिपेंडेंस डे अकॉर्डिंग टू वेलसाइ और इन रेस्पेक्ट ऑफ वेलसाइ इंडस्ट्री देन मेनी ऑफ यू इंक्लूडिंग मी विल से है वी वॉन्ट टू सी आवर ओन फेब्रिकेशन unit in india and for sure having a fabrication facility in your own country have a lot of geopolitical or strategic importance to india but not having a fabrication facility in india or in your own country can never be a stopping stone for a vilsa engineer to earn his or her livelihood or to excel in this amazing field of vilsa chip making designing so in today's video we going to deep dive into this topic and also at the end part of this video i will show you a live example about how to apply to a startup a vilsa startup right so stay tuned for that so let's get started so see to fabricate anything to manufacture anything first we need to have a great design for that product for that chip right it's not only those cutting edge 2 nanometer fabrication unit make the vlsi great but the engineers who can design who can actually understand those complex design role and they can design for that 2 nanometer yeah both things are important but most of the people in india mostly okay i don't know about other country but in india we think that hey uh, in vlsi we don't have any job why because we don't have any manufacturing facility we don't have any fabrication facility but we need to see the positive side side of the india and that is we are a super power in vlsi design yeah you are hearing me right and you need to prove then just imagine any great vlsi company and you will see a r&d center a design center in india mostly in bangalore recently we amd also announced that they are gonna build the largest design center in india why because we are the design superpower vlsi design superpower actually also for intel intel have the largest design facility after us also we have any any you just name any one amd uh um, nvidia or uh, now google also making their own chips so in india we also have openings for google chip making facility also amazon also recruiting the vlsi engineer for their own chip and why they are doing this because to develop anything in those cutting edge cutting edge not cutting edge like don't be afraid of cutting edge nothing whatever you are studying those are cutting edge only so don't afraid of this what cutting edge yeah so for a vlsi company they need two thing actually mostly they need a skilled engineer that's the their most priority job okay and then they need to earn the margin right margin means i want to sell something it in 8 rupee i will manufacture it in 1 rupee so 7 rupee is my margin so they want to earn the huge margin and for having a huge margin they need to reduce the cost of manufacturing and how they do that by actually there are many other options but one of the main option is that paying less to the engineers but engineer own stay with them if they keep on giving them less salary right so what's the way around and way around is that you build a design center where you can pay less for example india india is a very cheap market not cheap market yeah, i can say uh, in purchase parity index we can purchase anything in very less amount of money for example in this room where i am staying i am i am giving in bangalore it's actually inflated but in around uh, you will get the same kind of room in 12000 or 13000 in any other cities in bangalore it's very little costly okay but the same thing if you gonna for in us in other uk or example taiwan also you need to probably give 1 lakhs of indian rupee so that means they need to pay them higher so if they have all their engineer in us and they are designing then there would be a huge manufacturing cost so what's the turn around turn around is that hey you develop something in india in taiwan or where the uh, ppi is very less so you can produce a chip very cheaply but then you can sell that chip to the high paying market like us like uk and that's why india is a huge market actually and we are actually becoming the super power of vlsi chip design we are already in it in software export but vlsi we most of the time we don't think of and this is not only that in india they can pay less to engineer that's why they are building in india but 
in india also we have the skilled engineer we have a great infrastructure in the education system we have the iits we have the nits we have the vit we have the vids we have many great state engineering colleges and also many great private engineering colleges whole world is recognizing that hey india have the skilled engineer who can design those cutting edge cutting edge vlsi chip and the another great sector which work in our way and that is really as a indian we know how to do things in work around like jugar thing and uh, those thing actually sometime make the product to market time that we can reduce the time and also we are very hard working person see you you are a hard working person and those everything are actually really propelling up for become like india to be the best design hub of world but again this never mean that we are working on some leftover things like in vlsi design cycle we have many steps all steps are very important but few of you will consider this step is not very important and those work are actually dumped on indians or there are few uh, not so important product where we are working you might be thinking of but this is not true there are multiple example but i can show you one of the article uh, where like there are many actually but i have one of the article recently actually recently one of bp of intel uh, her name is sandra rivera she visited uh, sorry if i am pronouncing it wrong she visited india and uh, gadget 360 had taken her interview so there she is actually this thing everything in public so i am not telling anything confidential things so there she is actually explaining what she is the bp of data center data center if you don't know like for example you you use facebook right so facebook need to have a data center and that data center need to have a processor right otherwise how data center will work in intel we called xenon probably i am pronouncing perfectly i guess so she is the bp for that organization and she is actually uh, explaining what indian are doing and how indians engineers are great things in the scheme of intels actually so see uh, she mentioned here uh, they are working on cpu they are working on fpga and many will say hey who is the ai so they are also working on gpu and ai accelerator and intel will launch this two product in future so indian are like in any any where you can go for example you can take amd's example also uh, amd gonna build their biggest r&d center here in india so don't you think they actually believe in india and they will actually think that hey india can really work on those important product which are important for that specific company and also in india we have another plus point and that is a plus point for other country other developed country for for india it is happening now right now and that is the huge robust ecosystem of startup for startup we already have a few great startup like paytm like zomato but in vlsi probably we think that uh, there are a less but i was searching for few of the startup and actually in bangalore uh, i i uh, every weekend i go for my yoga follow up so in that building only i have one of the startup and which whose name is album semiconductor in india or mostly in bangalore there are uh, many startup are growing for vlsi and which will in return will increase the job for every one of you for every one of indians and if i gonna take some name of those startup there is a significant or a like great company that is shankar semiconductor there are also fabulous semiconductor uh, then next iot then signal chip and i am thinking in future i will make a video where i will actually explain uh, what they are doing like overview of most of the important startup vlsi startup in india and so that you can prepare your cv according to their portfolio and you can apply to those startups so if you want to see that video please subscribe to my channel and also comment down here we need it early as soon as possible now the question is that what you need to do right see many of us have a bad habit of jumping from here to here here to there what's i mean to see you probably start your journey when you start your ec as btech student you probably think of going for a core sector then some senior will tell you hey in india we don't have anything there is no fabrication unit so why do you go <laughs> probably they don't know that design we are super power okay no worry then you go for coding you think of okay let me learn some coding and i'll go to it sector that is also perfect you can do it i did that thing 
but then you again jump here now the main trend is ai so let's learn some ai thing then you will again jump here no 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 not ai uh, generative ai is now in the trend chat gpt so let's learn something about G uh, generative ai i'm not saying you those jumps are bad but problem is that you are wasting your time if you keep on jumping then you you would be you never be master of something you first need to be master of something and then you should know little bit of everything that's the perfect combination actually so that's why if you are sure you gonna design chip you feel thrilled whenever you design any chip design an inverter or you design a full adder or you see the graphs like if you feel that hey you have the aptitude you have the attitude to be a VLSI engineer then focus on VLSI concepts only and then only go for AI and actually see there is nothing separate of AI or 5G or other thing IOTs those are mainly on chip design only for AI they need to run on something right if you are very interested no I want to explore the coming thing like AI then learn designing ai hardware guys that's a that's a very emerging topic actually i want to learn ai hardware design and the fundamental of ai hardware design is mostly your digital electronics only which you are you are you will or you already have studied in your second year of btech so don't worry in technology world or industry as a whole any emerging technology can't exist without a circuit without a VLSI chip so you are a VLSI engineer if you learn your craft perfectly then you can go to any emerging technology anything coming up in future or today so don't keep on jumping and then in India we are lacking on something and that is we all know and that is the manufacturer uh, manufacturing industry but I think um, we are doing little bit good thing than the earlier we already have our PLI scheme. We already have one of the assembly unit actually uh, announced by Micron uh, in Semicon India last month. And there is a fact actually, very interesting fact. And that is we have a fabrication facility actually, 180 nanometer in SCL in uh, Chandigarh, I guess, under ISRO. And that facility actually started probably at the same time when TSMC started. So I think if we had like really given importance to manufacture and probably ACL could be of same as TSMC but past is past but in now we are doing a great things and we need to have a fabrication unit for the country strategic geopolitical interest but not for a VLSI engineer for VLSI engineer we already have the things which is the most important that is a design superpower how in India so don't worry now as promised I will show you how you can apply to job like one of the startup how you can apply first you need to know the names of the startup so for that i'll make a video where mostly i'll cover all the important startup name but little while ago i was mentioning one of the startup right album semiconductor actually I, I i saw them when i was going for yoga follow-up i as i said they have the same building i'm not sure about anything like how they are working nothing i have no information about them but I thought okay let's go to the career section let me see if they have some openings or not before I go to career section why I am telling you about startup why not Intel AMD those things see we need to be practical actually right currently market is not so perfect and for sure any time any good company will give preference to top tier student IIT NIT uh, beats or any any top tier colleges you, you can uh, name IIC sorry I forgot their name IIC is the godfather so, so if you are from those top tier then it's great if you are from third tier also it's not so bad you have all the chance but for those top tier students probably like probability stickly they have done, done some little more hard work than you don't feel sad this is practical that's why they are in top institute right so that's why from there their journey to VLSI uh, like MNCs big MNC will be little easier than you and for you nobody will ask your college name your college cgpa once you have the experience as a fresher that's the problem actually so that's why as a fresher if you are from third tier and you are you have tried you need to try actually never stop trying for intel amd all other big companies but after that if nothing is happening then startups are the best option for you to generate the experience to get the experience of three to four years mostly startup will have some bond because they will give you training right so after that 
थ्री और फोर ईयर गेट सम एक्सपीरियंस एंड दे एन नोवटी विल आस्क यू आर फ्रॉम थर्ड ईयर फोर्थ ईयर और एनी थिंग दे विल जस्ट आस्क डू यू हैव द स्किल इफ यू हैव यू विल गेट अ चांस सो दैट्स वाई आई एम शोइंग यू दिस दिस स्टार्टअप वेबसाइट बिकॉज आई नो मेनी ऑफ यू आर फ्रॉम थर्ड ईयर सो यू जस्ट नीड टू गो टू केरियर and in the career actually see uh, they are saying here so if i go here and i so i don't know i don't know if this like uh, openings are still there or not if they are updating their website or not i have no idea but likewise you can explore actually so for example if i see this memory design they have in bangalore locations uh, so you can just prepare your memory section and then you can go below and you can fill this form right you can fill this from probably cv they are asking uh, those thing but this is not a recommendation from my side this is just an example i am showing uh, you can also search for sank sankalp uh, semiconductor sankalp is actually good uh, they keep on coming on um, campuses sankalp semiconductor so that way you can increase your chances of getting the experience as a fresher mostly mostly you don't have dependency on finances you just need some finances which can cover your pocket money right right so if you get like they will really pay you less actually uh, again i don't know anything but again the packages would be 4 to 5 lpa or 3 point something but it's enough to cover your pocket money so just spend 2 to 3 year there learn everything from heart why things are happening keep on asking yourself why i am doing this if i am doing this why not that or if you get some a task then try to explore something around that task a and then only you can learn and then only for sure for sure it's guarantee you will get a great job in all the great product based mnc so in this independence day let's or independence month let's have like one promise to ourselves and that is that we will stop jumping from here to here and we'll try to be master of vlsi circuit design we will keep on registering for nptel courses they are the gold diamond or anything any precious thing you can name they are so keep on registering for them and as said there is no shortcut the only shortcut is there and that is hard work you need to do hard work the more hard work you do probably you will become more lucky and you will get more opportunities and also there is very important thing and that is doing projects and for projects also you can keep on doing all the projects for free for using open source i have already made a video here so you can watch that video and i have already the playlist also where i have started doing those projects and also i have one on complaint for you and that is the views of those projects are very less so this type of video can't make you a vlsi engineer this type of video that like today can only motivate you but those playlist like i am making those actually actually make you a vlsi engineer like you are already a vlsi engineer but you will get a vlsi engineering job so if you haven't seen them please see those playlist share with your friends and increase the view count because view count is the only thing which motivate me to keep on making next next episodes that's the game of youtube algorithm okay so till then keep learning and keep helping others tata bye bye